Hi there, welcome to Nepi Invest. In today's video, I'm going to touch upon the significant rebound in defense stocks share price on the ASX over the past few weeks. In fact, one of these companies, and this company I do own in my own portfolio, uh, its share price has gone up over 100% in that two week period. Now, these defense stocks have seen significant headwinds over the past two years because of COVID-19. And it does look like those headwinds have stopped. And now these companies are experiencing some pretty good tailwinds. And I think those tailwinds will have the potential to continue over the next few weeks. And I think that's why the market has recognized that and why the share price has increased fairly significantly for some of these companies over the past few weeks. Not all of them, but a few of these companies share price have seen fairly big increases. Now, I recognize that a lot of these companies were undervalued, yet I was not buying into these companies two weeks ago, simply because of the significant negative sentiment in these companies. And sometimes sentiment can shift on a dime. And that's what seems to have happened with these companies about two weeks ago. And the catalyst for me in rethinking um, these companies occurred on March the 7th. On March 7, a company called Xtech released an announcement in regards to urgent order to supply $2.75 million of specialist ballistic armor products. And the word urgent is the most important word here. And I think this has a lot to do with the Ukraine conflict, increasing defense spending. And the other factor is over the past two years, we've seen this sector, uh, I've already mentioned they've gone through some headwinds, but we've also seen um, less spending in this area. And I think with COVID-19 coming to an end, we're going to see governments ramp up the defense spending because we're going into that sort of cycle in the world where I think conflicts will increase over the next few decades and companies will have to spend more money, more money on defense. And XTech uh, saw this with this urgent order. And I think this is one of the reasons why we are seeing a re-rating in defense companies right now. The market is recognizing the future potential of many of these companies. Just like many other companies on this list, XTech's share price has been in a well-defined downtrend for well over a year. In fact, the share price high for XTech actually happened in July 2020 at around 90 cents. And you can just see through this chart, this is exactly not the chart you want to see if you're a shareholder of this company. And actually, I am a shareholder of this company, funnily enough. Anyway, the share price has gone down from 90 cents to a low of around 17 cents which was reached towards the end of February. And there was no end in sight to this downtrend. And the valuation of this company got down to ridiculous levels. And even though it got down to ridiculous levels, I was not a buying investor of this company. I was a holder and I was not willing to put more money into the company just because of the amount of negative sentiment. And just towards the end of this period, over the past few weeks, we have seen share price starting to increase on increasing volume as well. But there is still a lot of resistance moving forward for XTech and other defense companies. So that resistance or those shareholders who have bought in at higher prices um, will mean, won't, I won't say will put a stop to the share price increasing, but it will increase resistance to the share price increasing. That's the whole definition of resistance. So this is definitely one of these companies to put on your watch list. And the share price is actually still in the downtrend. We don't have really any confirmation. The downtrend has come to a completion. If I see the share price get above 25, 27.5 cents, even 30 cents, that would be a good sign moving forward for XTech. But at this point in time, I have not added to my position this company just yet. I need more confirmation that this downtrend has come to an end that the negative sentiment has shifted to positive. Continuing on with XTech, I've just zoomed in uh, over the past six months. And one of the things I am looking for is a six month high in the share price. So we're definitely not there yet with XTech. Even 
when they released that urgent order on the 7th of March, the share price at one point uh, on that day was up 50%, but a fair bit of selling came in during that day. And the reason we saw a lot of selling is simply because the share price has been decreasing over the past six months. A lot of shareholders are underwater with this company and they saw when the share price increased on that day, their opportunity to sell out either at a smaller loss or at break even levels. And that's the one negative thing about a lot of these companies is the share price has been in a downtrend, a lot of resistance moving forward. The good sign is we have seen increasing volume during this period as well, even though I don't show you the volume here. The share price has pulled back on a couple of occasions towards 20 cents, and that's when we have seen a little bit of buying coming in. So signs are looking good for XTech right now, but I want some confirmation that this downtrend has come to an end. Now onto the company that has seen its share price rise over 100% in the last two trading weeks. And that does include trading on the March of 23rd. We are recording this video one hour after trading has begun and the share price is up again for Electro Optics. Two weeks ago, the share price of this company was $1.60. Now the share price is over $3.20. And we have seen a significant rise in the share price on the back of significant increase in volume. And that actually does make sense for me because this company was significantly undervalued. The negative sentiment in this company drove the share price and the valuation of this company to ridiculously low levels, particularly because of the potential of this company over the next few decades. But this chart, which does go back to December 2020, does look eerily similar to Xtex. It goes from the top left to the bottom right. And as a shareholder of the company, I did not like that. But with all downtrends, with all periods of negative sentiment, it can turn around fairly quickly. And that's exactly what it's done with electro optics. I would prefer a period of consolidation, share price going sideways. But what's happened with electro optics over the past two weeks is a lot of that resistance, a lot of those shareholders who were bought in at higher prices the past few months, the share price is now higher than when they bought in. And they've had the opportunity to sell because of the amount of buying that has come in during that period. And right now, the share price of Electro Optics at about $3.20, don't know what the current share price is on March the 23rd, it is at a four month high. I would prefer at least a six month high, uh, preferably a one year high, but this V-shaped recovery in electro optics share price has been impressive. And the reason it's been impressive, apart from the 100% rise in share price, is it's on the back of really good volume. So there is someone in the market, potentially a lot of someone's in the market, really excited about electro optics right now. Now onto a zoomed version of electro optics, just looking at the past about five months. Now, what I, what, the reason I've zoomed in here is I'm just looking at resistance levels. Uh, and we did see a bit of a resistance level at about $2.70 and the electro share price just zoomed straight past that without any resistance at all. So what I'm looking at is the next high before that. And the next high or period where the share price was going sideways was around about $3.60, $3.70. And electro optic share price is starting to approach that. So things are starting to look bullish for electro optics. This turnaround the share price has been really impressive. In fact, on the 7th of March, the day XTEC released that announcement was not the catalyst for the start of Electro's optics impressive turnaround. In fact, it started on the 9th of March and I'm recording this video on the 23rd of March. So it's actually been two weeks where we've seen this impressive turnaround in electro optics. The question is, can it continue over the next few weeks? What I'd be doing, and I am looking to add to my position, I'd be looking for a bit of a retracement in the share price, potentially back to about $2.70 to retest the new support level. And when I do, if we do see the share price retrace, I'd like to see that on decreasing volume. And then I'd like to see it rebound off the support level. And that would be confirmation that there is a potential turnaround in electro optics share price and sentiment. Now to a few other defense companies. And the first one is Orbital, Betigodi's OEC. They produce engines for UAVs. And 
this company share price has gone from about $1.20 or 30 cents all the way to a low of 20 cents. So just like Xtech, just like Electro Optics, the past two years have not been kind to this company because of significant headwinds. But I think those headwinds are starting to turn into tailwinds. And that's the time you want to take positions in companies. Unlike Electro Optics, which does look quite bullish, it does look like the market wants to turn that company's share price into an uptrend. You can't really say the same thing with Orbital. We haven't seen a significant increase in volume, but the share price has been wanting to move up. We've seen two significant updates where the share price has increased 20% or 12%, but the share price is still struggling to move up from here. Current share price is around 31 cents. So that's only about a two month high in the share price. If that, I would prefer six months. So this is another company just like Xtech. I'd probably just remain on the sidelines just to see if this downtrend in the share price has come to a completion. I think the best movement for Orbital and Xtech is for the share price to go sideways for a period of time, a nice consolidation period, and then the share price takes off when we get good financial news from both the companies, if that happens at all. One defense company I've been thinking about taking a position is Austel. This company makes boats, that sort of thing for defense, I think even for non-defense as well. And the share price of this company has been hurting over the past two years, just like the other companies. But when you look at the moving averages, and I look at 50 and 100 day moving averages here, I also look at 25 and 200 day moving averages, but I usually only include two moving averages in the chart I show you or the videos I show you simply because it is less clutter. But all I'm looking here is a shift in sentiment, shift in trend based off 50 and 100 day moving average. And I'm looking at 50 and 100 because I'm looking at the medium to long term movement in the share price. So if you're looking at short term movements, you might be looking at 10, 25 day moving averages. And what we've seen over the past few months is the two moving averages come together and they're very much moving sideways or share price is moving sideways and the two moving averages are virtually aligned together. That is telling me this downtrend in the share price has come to an end and the share price is consolidating. And the next step, we need confirmation of a breakout in the share price. And the confirmation of the breakout in the share price is it going past the most recent high, which would be about $2.14, 15 cents. I would prefer that breakout to be on good volume and on the back of some good financial news. And if the share price does get above about $2.20, that would be a six month high at least. And that is something else I am looking for with potential breakouts. The last defense company I wanna feature in this video is Quickstep, ticker code QHL. This is a company I've been following for many, many years, but I've never been a shareholder of Quickstep. One of the reasons I've never bought into Quickstep they do have a fair bit of revenue, but they have fairly low margins. But the share price of this company has been going or trending down for quite a few years. They did do a consolidation with the shares. So even though the share price right now is over 50 cents, uh, the majority of the time I've been following this company, share price was significantly lower than that. But because of the consolidation, the share price is now higher. The, what, the day before this company released their half year results, was the low or the share price low of this company, it got down to about 36 cents. And then the company released the half year results, the market liked it, we saw the share price pop up. And from that share price popping up on the half year results on February the 22nd, the shares price of this company has kept on increasing. And right now at around about 58 cents, even though the share price has been higher the last three or four trading days, if you ignore those days, the share price right now is at, a, is at about, an eight month high. And that is one thing I'm looking for in company share price breaking out. So definitely quick step is an intriguing proposition for me right now. I'll have to have a quick look at their half yearly report to understand why the market was so excited about the release of that financial, or those financial numbers from this company. That's all I have for this a video on defense stocks on the ASX on a bit of a tear the last few weeks, in particular, Electro Optics. First thing I just want to mention is the sound quality of this video. I have transitioned to Zoom, so there are possible teething problems, particularly with the sound quality. I am using a Yeti Blue, so I have changed some of the settings. I have changed the distance from my mouth 
to where the Yeti Blue is. So hopefully some of that is solving some of the problems I have experienced with the previous two videos. So leave your opinion about the sound quality of this video in the comment section. Uh, hopefully it has been fixed, but I need your opinion on that. If you do have an opinion on any of these companies I have featured in this video, or if there's another defense company I have not looked at or uh, mentioned in this video, just leave it in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who is qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye.